if I am doing one where I have a parabola with no zeros? Well, the reciprocal of this function is going to be y is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. If I am solving for the non-permissible values of this, well, if x squared plus 1 is equal to 0, then no matter which way I do it, I'm never going to solve an x-intercept, which means that it doesn't look like there are any. And we'll see how that looks in just one second. Okay, I'm going to start to fill up my chart, and I get 5, 2, 5 over 4, 1, 5 over 4, 2, and 5, which means that in my reciprocal function, I'm going to get 1 over 5, 1 over 2, 4 over 5, 1, 4 over 5, 1 over 2, and 1 over 5. The invariant point, it only looks like there's one, and that occurs at zero and one. And for the asymptotes, well, I don't have any horizontal as or vertical asymptotes from what I could see. So really, I just have the y is equal to zero asymptote. All right, well, let's graph out our original one and see what this looks like. So for my original one, for the x squared plus 1, it's going to look something like this. For my reciprocal one, I have my invariant point here. And then we can see that it's going to come down to one half on either side. Then it's going to come down to sorry, it's going to come down to four fifths on, on each side. So zero point eight. Then it's going to come down to one half. Then it's going to come down to one fifth. And I'm going to wind up where it looks like this little hill that has a peak at the invariant point, and then it's going to try and get closer and closer to the bottom. How can I state the domain? Well, there was no restrictions on the domain, so it's represented by x, where x, e, r. How would I state the range? Well, I know that the range for this one has a lowest point at 0, but it can never actually hit it. And then it's going to have this top point where it's going to reach 1, and it actually will hit that point, which means that 0 is less than y, which is less than or equal to 1, where y, e, r.